What is up, my forks for beginners family? Okay, so now we're going to take a, a, a look at the one hour time frame. And I want to continue from last lesson where we were talking about the four hour time frame, and then I ended off a bit talking about the one hour time frame. And, you know, we talked about average true range. And now that price is moving more distance based on the average true range, um, we can catch uh, more opportunities uh, based on, um, you know, whatever your schedule is, right? So we're just going to continue, you know, we, we were over here looking at how it was climbing a ladder. And on the, on the um, four hour, we had a crossover. So uh, let me just quickly jump back into the four hour. Uh, I'm just going to highlight where we had this crossover. I'm going to jump back into the one hour, which we are studying now, the one hour. And again, I just want us to study what we uh, what we see, you know. And as we study and notice things, that's when trade opportunities will, um, you know, come to us. So here, so we, we highlighted this. This is where the crossover, the EMA 18 crossover was happening on the um, on the four hour time frame. And why we drop below uh, to lower time frame, because we're looking for um, opportunities to join the trend, but with a smaller stop loss. And as I showed you, as we go lower and lower in time frame, our average true range drops meaning our stop loss, uh, how large our stop loss will drop. So if we can find opportunities on the lower time frame, it's a more precision entry, more precision trade, and it, and it uh, allows us to increase our risk to reward and manage our risk. So right now we're looking for buy opportunities. This is where the crossover happened. Say we, you know, say you missed it, um, or say you didn't, say you saw the crossover, you jumped into the one hour time frame, and you see that we had a bullish engulfing candle. We see that price is uh, price is holding support on the blue EMA right there. And we could have, you know, if you wanted to get in the trade there, you could have. But say you didn't, right? Uh, say you didn't. Say that you saw that it jumped above the EMA 50, the, the orange line. And it came up, up here. It tested the EMA 200. See how it tested it? Found support, jumped above it fell down. So right now you just notice that, okay, it would try to get above the EMA 200, the purple. It fell back down, but look, it quickly jumps back above the EMA 50 and we get a crossover. This right here, based on the fact that, you know, you've seen that the EMA 50 is resistance here and support here. We just keep noticing that the EMA 50 plays a role. You know, price is either dropping below it or above it. And right now, momentum is up. So you could have, you know, you could have highlighted this area here and said, okay, we, we price jumped above. And um, right here, it's, a, it's above the EMA 50. We have a crossover. You could actually, um, well, let's highlight that area. So say if you want to examine this area, um, we can now jump down to, uh, before I jump down to the lower time frame, just we're just going to make note by circling potential setup areas. And right here again, the EMA 50 played another factor there. And um, let's just examine those areas. So I'm going to jump down to you know the 30 minute is another favorite one of mine. 30 minute time frame. And look at here, the 30 minute time frame shows even more detail. You know, we could have took a trade based on the fact that we got a bullish engulfing. See that bullish engulfing candle? Hold on, I'm going to zoom in on it. I should be able to, yeah, hold and drag and it zooms in. Zooms in a little too much. But anyways, we highlighted on the higher time frame. We were at looking at the one hour. Uh, you can see that th there's a crossover. There's a bullish engulfing. Uh, even right here, you can see that it found support on the EMA. 50 here so based on these on these uh 
it's actually too zoomed in for me right now. So based on this, you could have you could have entered, you know, you could have entered a trade because you highlighted this on the one hour. So we're going to use our risk to reward tool. Uh, is this the right one? Yep. So we could have we could have placed a trade here when it got above. You know, maybe if you wanted to set a, you know, what is this? Uh, you know, a 30 pip stop loss. So a 30 pip stop loss, we entered on this on this candle that um, was a bullish engulfing. It found support in the EMA 200. We have momentum up. Previous history has shown us that we've highlighted these areas of interest, and this is how you enter. You know, you know this was going to be a um, a 30 pip stop, and our profit could have exited up, up here. So that would have been a uh, a six x return on risk, risk right there. So six x your money, get in, get out. Um, let's uh, maybe we can draw some fibs. Let me try to draw fibs here. I always love drawing fibs. So say we went from there to there. Potentially this could have been your exit, or you know we came came actually pretty close. Look at that. We actually hit 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 the target perfectly. Do you see when you run fibs, it actually shows you um, your the best target. So look at look at we actually came up there. So based on this move here, we joined the trend. Say we joined the trend here, we joined the trend here. You know, if we ran fibs, look the long term target it hit. So that that we could have extended our if we entered the trade there. Let's actually. Um, Put our risk reward tool on again uh, and we entered I believe yeah right there we had a 30 pip stop loss and our fibs potentially the long-term fibs hit hit the target we could have stayed in the trade that long that was a a uh, 8x return that's pretty good and these these setups happen all the time. You know that's what I'm saying. I'm saying get in, get out. Here's here's another one we highlighted on the one hour. Well, it again same thing happened. It tried to get below the EMA fifty. It jumped up. It had an EMA cross and they had a bearish sorry a bullish engulfing candle. Okay, well let's put in our um, you know our long our long tool. So. Say we entered off of this candle. Actually, it jumped above. We had a EMA cross. So say we entered on this one. Uh, stop loss is a little large here, but our exit would have been about here. That's a 3x return on risk, right? Our stop loss would have been 34 pips. So this is how I, I want you guys to practice. I want you guys to just keep examining um, Every time frame, every time frame has so much information, and you know, let's let's just quickly, you know, examine this on the 15-minute time frame. So let me go back there and look at on the 15-minute time frame. You see price come down to the EMA 200. It tests this level about four or five times, and then get got a bullish engulfing candle. Well. You know, let's measure if you took a trade off of here, you know, you could have, uh, let's see the risk to reward here. Long tool, so you could have, you know, this could have been your trade. And because because we're down to the 15 minute time frame, look how much smaller our stop loss gets. Our stop loss here is 10 pips, 10 pips. And that's because we, Actually, hold on a second. Um, I would have placed a buy about there, placed our stop loss there. So yeah, so that's a little better. So that so that's about um, a 25 pip stop loss, uh, a six x risk to reward, and let's quickly just um, add an average true range. Um, where is it? Right here. Uh, average true range. So at this moment in time, the average true range was showing us, I'm looking at the right here. So at this moment in time here is showing us about 20 pips stop. 
and we used a 25 pip stop loss. So again, this is how we use average true range. As we keep going lower down in, in time frame, we get more and more accurate uh, entries. Our stop losses become smaller. And let's just go down to the five minute time frame because I use every time frame to our advantage. So look at this. In the same spot that we've been analyzing, well, maybe you wanted to enter right here. Why? Because we it shows us that we jumped above the EMA 200. We found support on the EMA 50, trying to make a decision, and it we get a bullish candle here. So we could have had a let's let's put our our tool in here. So we could have actually entered here. Um, say if we exited up here, our stop loss. Oh, hold on a second. Our stop loss would have been right below the um, EMA 50. And now we're looking at a 10 pip stop loss and our risk to reward is 14 X. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Um, you can see why I love analyzing um, from the higher time frame all the way down to the five minute time frame. Um, and an easier way to do this is um, what I recommend you guys doing, but if you don't have, um, you know, if you don't have the Pro Plus account, you might not be able to do uh, this feature here, the three chart setup. This is why I love um, using the three chart setup. I'm able to look at multiple time frames. Um, now I hope you can understand why, you know, based on the one hour time frame or the four hour time frame um, how I'm able to look down on the 30 minute or 50 minute or five minute time frame and find these precision entries where I you know use fibs like this was a great trade right here get in get out you know take your 10 10 12 X return and uh, look for the next opportunity so I want you guys to practice um, all the lessons that I've, you know, already preached to you guys, especially the last, um, the last four or five, where uh, you know I go into how to really find opportunities based on the higher time frame all the way down to the lower time frame. And if this is more for the, you know, students who have completed all the, you know, previous lessons and have got comfortable with marking up the charts, then. I want you to start trying to focus on the three chart setup because now that the market is more volatile, that means we have more trade opportunities for us to get in, get our money, get out. That's what I want your theme to be. Um, a wise man once told me, I think I read this actually, that you will never go broke taking profit. So that's why I want you guys to get in, get out. It's always nice to catch the big runs. You know, the goal is always to, you know, when the market's crashing, to catch the maximum uh, movement of the market. But, uh, you know, if you miss that opportunity, I'm telling you, there's opportunities every day. Um, you just got to get comfortable and um, know what to look for and not feel pressure to be in a trade. Uh, first, we must notice what's happening on the charts before we can actually play some trades. Okay, thanks for watching.